So, Angry Elf, I'm still here, but guess who I ran into? The voice behind the narrator of Bastion. Oh my god, Logan Cunningham. It's good to meet you. Oh, well, first of all, I know you probably get this a lot, but you look young for someone who sounds like an old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. I, th I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where did you first get started as a voice actor? Um, with Bastion, really. I was uh, um, Amir Rao, who's one of the co-founders of the company, and uh, Darren Korb, who's the audio director and the composer of, the, of all the music. I've known them both since I was like 13 or 14. And uh, when Supergiant had just begun, you know, there's like very little money to go around and Amir just kind of like called in favors uh, with just people that he knew that could like possibly contribute to uh, to the project. And so, so he asked Darren, you know, because Darren's really good at music. And uh, I was just like the actor they happened to know. So he asked me to just kind of try it and they liked it and uh, just went on with it. But um, I don't have any like training in voiceover or voice acting or anything. I was just an actor, so. Well, dude, if, well, for a guy who had no training, you pretty much stole the game, man. Thank you. That, that was such an amazing... How did you get into the character of uh, the narrator? Uh, for Bastion? Yeah. Um, they gave me notes on just sort of the, this kind of tone they were going for, which is like a kind of a western-y, like, frontiers-y sort of feel. Uh, like Sam Elliott or something? Yeah, and um, specifically they mentioned um, the main character in Deadwood. Ian McShane's character, just as like an overall sort of like sound, you know, yeah. something like that. And it wound up being a mixture of like that character, um, Bill the Butcher, Daniel Day-Lewis in Gangs of New York, and uh, Sam Elliott, who's the, the narrator of the, the movie The Big Lebowski. Yeah. So we kind of like mashed all those together and th that became that became Rux. So uh, going from a narrator of Bastion, you're playing the person in the Transistor, yeah. in Transistor. Can you uh, explain uh, who this guy is? He's someone who is uh, very close to Red, who's the, uh, the player character, the singer, uh, the woman who's, um, you know, there's like an attempt on her life at the beginning of the game, she survives and she got the transistor in the process. Um, and their relationship is, is something of a spoiler, so I can't like discuss it too much, but he cares uh, very much for her safety. and. He's not, because I, I get the, uh, the question all the time, like, oh, are you narrating this one too? It's like, not really. He's not really a narrator. He's just like a kind of a companion character. He doesn't know the entire story, and he's discovering it with you. But like uh, like uh, the kid over at the Bastion, he sort of like gives the voice to the voiceless. Yeah, this, this is the person who we get to know Red and the world through. A little bit. I mean, it, like she, you'll hear her singing in... Um, when you use this uh, this tactic called um, you know turn, yeah, very beautiful. Voice. Yeah, this uh, sort of uh, strategy element of the game, mm -hmm. you get to hear her uh, her singing, but she's reduced to just sort of she makes like kind of exertion sounds and she can she can hum, yeah. but her singing voice has been like taken from her. Uh -huh. And uh, what do you think is the difference between the narrator and the guy to transition uh, character-wise? Like the narrator was kind of yeah. somewhat aloof mysterious oh, this yeah. guy's a little more personal yeah. um, <laughs> well I mean Rux he was narrating the, the story but like he's he's more of a storyteller uh -huh. like he's he's that he's like kind of a true narrator like that omniscient sort of like you know third eye whatever he knows pretty much everything that's going on even if he's not letting it all all uh, you know all out come to the surface and that's uh, the opposite is true this time around well dude it was an honor to speak with you, man. Yeah, totally. And, and mind if we get a little sample of the voice? <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. Um, so this is my favorite weapons combination in, in Bastion, where you uh, you equip the uh, machete and the mortar. And he goes, walk by, get with the machete and the mortar. You just keep on walking. Damn! Damn! Oh, it's good to talk to you, Logan. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. With you. And this is the Angry Elf, not so angry, just perfectly hyped, signing off for the OuterHaven.net.